Welcome back to our Redskins Web Exclusive as we get set for Sunday's game against the Patriots. I'm Bruce Rayner, along with former Super Bowl safety Darren Perry. This week on the Washington Huddle, we talked about what a mess the Redskins are, one of only six teams in the NFL without a win. Uh, your overview on the team right now. Uh, the big thing, the biggest thing I see, Bruce, is they have no identity. What are the Washington Redskins? What are they on offense? What are they on defense? And you can't really say. And so for me, if I'm the head coach of this team, we got to figure out what are we going to be? What are we going to be on offense? Are we going to try to run the ball, quick passing game? What are we going to take shots down the field? Defensively, are we going to get out the quarterback? We're going to be a pressure team. What are we going to be known for? And through these first four games, I don't know if you could say that. And to me, that's troublesome. You know, if they get blown out by the Patriots, you could be the best <laughs> coach of the Washington Redskins. The quarterback situation is also in shambles. They signed Case Keenum to replace Alex Smith, who broke his leg last year. They drafted Dwayne Haskins out of Ohio State in the first round. And, of course, they've been waiting for longtime backup Colt McCoy to get over his leg injury that he suffered last December. Uh, we saw Keenum go out there. He had been in a boot all last week. He goes mm -hmm. out against the Giants. It was obviously he probably shouldn't be playing. Yes. They brought Dwayne Haskins in. Coach Jay Gruden said, I don't think Haskins is ready. I'd like to keep him mm -hmm. out. So they forced him in. He didn't look very yeah. good. So I'm guessing we're going to see Colt McCoy this weekend against the Patriots. Well, unfortunately, Bruce, I don't know if it's going to make a difference going up against this New England football team. I mean, because they are talented on defense. I mean, they are hard to score on, and obviously we know what they are on offense. And so, to me, I don't know if it's going to make a difference in terms of who plays quarterback for Washington this week. But obviously, we Haskins isn't ready, and you throw him into a game last week. Because that's, that's the other thing, too, that people sometimes don't realize. If you're a backup quarterback, you don't get many reps in practice. And so the starting quarterback, he's going to get all the first team reps. He's going to go through all the situations and so forth. And so as a backup, you don't get those reps. And so to get thrown into the game as early as he did, not having taken any reps, I mean, that, that's, that's a challenge, for, the, particularly for a young quarterback. The good thing about Colt McCoy, though, is, is that he's been with the Redskins for the last, what, 20 years now. Yes, yes. So <laughs> he, knows, he knows all the play. We were told all summer the Redskins' defense was the heart and soul of this team. Obviously, they have not been able to produce. That seems to me to be the biggest uh, just question mark, and, and, and I'm just baffled. Why? To me, I, I, when, I, when I look at the talent, you know, on that defense, and I don't see the production. I see a team that's given up over 400 and some yards a game, 63% uh, on third down. That, that's unbelievable when you look at the talent. And to me, I look at scheme fit, and you got some Pro Bowl players. Uh, I don't know if they're on the back end just yet, so I can't say that they're long on the tooth. So to me, you got to find out. Are we putting these guys in the best situation? Are we allowing our, be our better players to make plays and be the backbone and be the impact players that they can be? And so I don't know if you I don't know if you can say that. And again, I'm not there, so I haven't studied them. But when I just look at it, you know, on the outside, to me, that's what I see. Well, it's going to be interesting. Redskins and the Patriots this weekend, and then the Redskins head down to Miami to take on the Dolphins before we leave. How are you doing? You had a great <laughs> career as a quarterback at Deep Creek High School. I watched you play back in those days. You went to Penn State. You were one of the best safeties in all of college football and in the history of the Nittany Lions. Then, of course, you won two Super Bowls. You coached for 15 years. Uh, Want to get back in it? I will. And uh, right now, uh, Bruce, I'm kind of career transitioning. We have a construction company, and we're doing uh, vacation rentals. So I'm busy with that, uh, spending some time with my girls. So I'm going back and forth between Virginia and Florida. But right now, uh, we got some business projects that we're doing. We're kind of walking before we start running. But uh, coaching is still in the future, and uh, I plan on getting back out there. All right, and who knows? It could be this week in Washington. <laughs> Darren Perry, thank you very much. Our web exclusive, and join us every Friday night at 1030 on Fox 43 for the Washington Huddle.